Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have a QuickBooks online tutorial that's gonna save you time and simplify your accounting tasks. So we'll show you how to export your chart of accounts to Excel. This can be incredibly helpful for analysis, reporting, or sharing your financial data. But before we dive into today's video, make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell turned on so you never miss out to any of our exciting updates. Now, exporting the chart of accounts to Excel allows you to create customized financial reports tailored to your specific needs, which I think may not be available in QBO's default reports. Now, Having a copy of your chart of accounts in Excel serves as a backup in case of, you know, data loss or if you need to switch accounting software in the future. It's, uh, take it as an additional layer of uh, data security. Now, when we go right into it, all we got to do is uh, go to accounting, which says reconcile or chart of accounts. Okay, there you go. But as you can see here, um, uh, let me just uh, you don't have the accounting numbers or the account numbers here. Just uh, some of these stuff that you can uh, uh, have like name type, detail type, QuickBooks balance, and whatnot. So if you wanted to see uh the account numbers, all you gotta do is hover down to the toolbar icon on the upper right corner here. Where it says account um and settings. Now uh, go to advance and go to chart of accounts here. It says enable uh you can actually click it here, yeah. If it's uh it's not um clicked on, all you gotta do is um click this part, show account numbers, and that's it click done and obviously we don't have the account numbers here because this is a sample um sample um data from some a default data from the quickbooks software but if you have an already uh account here or a a, a history of, of a sample record obviously the numbers will show up here and then what you can do is go to, um, you have this option. You can import or run report. You have the, uh, so obviously again, as I've mentioned, if you have the account numbers, it will automatically populate on the uh, left part here. But since we don't have, since it's a, it's a default account, it's, it is not showing, but you have uh, pl uh, plenty of options here. Uh, you can email report, add management reports. You can export. You have three options for this version of QuickBooks that I'm using, which is export to Excel, export to CSV, or export to PDF. Now, when you export it to Excel, that's gonna be just it. And thank you so much for watching this tutorial on QuickBooks Online. If you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions, please, I am more than glad to provide further assistance. Feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, take care and happy bookkeeping. Thank you for watching. Bye.